We really know the part of our, our, third, our third game of the afternoon and this is the DF7 final either by the board of August Kennedy and we welcome all of the teams, both teams, their teachers, their assistants and uh, connections on the sideline as well as all of the, the, the players and the supporters from each of the two schools. Uh, we just come ready now to introduce both teams to you. And we start with Canopy. Can we hear Canopy? Ibrahim Con Curtis. Ibrido Kalian Desari. And Kalian is also the captain. Ibrid Three Kyle Young. Ibrid Hammer Joe Sexton, who is also vice captain. Ibrid Kui Bushy McCarthy. Ibrid Shi Mark Finnegan. Ibrid Shaw John Dunley. Hi Barbara. Ibrid Hope Adam Keezy. Ibrid Lee John Joe O'Brien. Ibrid Alex Murphy. Ibrid Hindil John Crowley. Ibrid Oyev Isaac Conan. Ibrid Tridil Kiron O'Leary. Ibrid Kahartil Jack Lucy. Ibrid Kuigdil Sean Healy. Ibrid Shidil Aaron Kyohan. Ibrid Shahdil Kian O'Reilly. Ibrid Hobdil Liam Sheehan. Ibrid Nadil Finn Sheehan. Ibrid Fahad Noah Sexton. Ibrid Fahad Fionon Toomey. Ibrid Fahad No Shea Healy. Ibrid Fahad Three Jack Fitzgerald. Ibrid Fahad Kahar Sean Condon. Ibrid Fahad Kui Luke Drummond. Ibra Fahishay Cullum Nash. Ibra Fahishah Daniel Noonan. Ibra Fahahunt Aidan O'Callaghan. Alex Ibra Fahahunt Liam Scully. Let's hear a big cheer for Canopy. I'm so rightly by moon. Ibrahim, Ada O'Crony. Ibrido, oh, Gamalashi. Ibrahim, Ben O'Riordan. Ibrido, Ada O'Crony. Ibrid three, Rory Omar Cool. August is a Rory on Cool Captain. Ibrid Kahar, Philip Sage. Ibrid Kui, Finn Otuma. Ibrid Shea, Danny Olinchik. August is a Danny Andara Cool Captain. Ibrid Shah, Sean Otuma. Ibrahim Janon Odosa. Ibrahim James Omar Ku. Ibrahim Benjamin Orbier Doy. Ibrahim Jill Ronan Otuma. Ibrahim Doyev Mihal Omar Ku. Ever intrigued, Baron Oscar. 
Die Evagus wurde fort, die Stadt und Sorge, die Entweich kann ich schon. Die F schafft in den Neverbahn und Skullebahn, weil er wurde, August, keine Wie. Der Referee aus dem Center of the Field ist Michael Collins of Planet Kilty. Waiting for the signals before we start. So, Bally Vorne and Kadavi in a double header, Bokali in the DF7 and the Kalini in the DGS7. On fence and air, on the hair show, like some Kibdish fighting, Neva Vaughan and son, Lashing Shana Toma, Shana Toma, so it's fun to hard. Pass a match, moving forward towards the goal now, getting it to the 45 meter line, cutting inside, has to make room to come out again, and then to give, take his shot onto his left hand, passes it away, out to this side of the field. Yeah. Neva Vaughan holding onto it, still holding onto it, pass it comes. Into the center, chance here now, dummy, and looking at the score in towards the goal, the goalkeeper does well. Well caught, Con Corpus, and Con with a long, long relieving theme. Bellavorni man gets a foot in, the Canopy man gets the ball, however, has to go back into his own half of the field to retrieve it, and a good cross field pass, but that one is going to make the sanctuary of the sideline as far as they have a border concerned, Scott Abon are concerned, and it will be Finn Otoma to take this one. Just inside in the canopy half of the field, a nice punt, right legged forward, like a shock wing, uh, Sean Otoma, Dulcan Keenox, Strockel Tag, and a Verganzi Hani Homer, and to be a free in for Neva Bond. Cross the field they go with that one. But will he get it back? He's trying to get the forward into position, turning onto his left. Good defence by the canopy man, sticking to his task as he hand passes the ball over to the far side of the field. And this is Finan. Finan driving in towards the goal, well caught again by the goalkeeper. Great save hands by Con Curtis. And two drop shot by the Scullabon. And here come Canopy on their first attack, driving it out over the sideline on this side of the field. It takes a bit of while to get used to the sideline being brought in when there is no actual physical line on the pitch. Pitch must be said, looking great, having loads and loads of matches and county finals for the last three weeks. Still holding up well. This is the new Bruce Springsteen venue for 2024, a long kick into the centre, up there reach and bat batted down, Balavorna man who stayed down, was Fanon, Fanon getting the break and driving it in towards the goal, out comes the goalie again, out comes Curtis again, and straight in a row from Con Curtis, and a great pass out the wing to the far side of the field, over near the sunshine, up along the wing, go Academy, and of course big week for them again, on Saturday their club team, Canavy will play um, Castle Magner in the junior semi final. Of course, uh, can be the last car team or the only car team to win the junior All Ireland back in the year 2008. They were um, champions in mid cart in 2007, went on to win Munster and All Ireland. And on top of that, they're champions in mid cart and was great again this year and looking to a county final that could set them on their road to Munster and All-Ireland titles, Moss Vader and Echeray. <coughs> Fleeing for Bellavorne, however, this one about 22 metres out from the goal to suit the left foot. Referee waiting for it, it won't rise enough, Con Curtis comes out again. That's four balls handled by the goalkeeper, but... <coughs> 
They're being pegged back in their own half of the field. Across the field, that pass goes, but it's uh, cut out by the Canavy defender and sends the ball up the attack to the far side of the field. Good pass forward, a good ball forward, but the pass to foot, to ground, and eventually hoofed out over the sideline by Neva Bond. And to be a sideline kick to Canavy. This one. In they go, trying to make a bit of room, hand pass again, creating the space and the return. We have to come back and have to recycle it and out they come again to the 45. <coughs> Chast in the park, here they go, long kick over. Can be meant to the front but misjudges the hop and the Balavoni man with the yellow boots gets that one away. Trying to turn past this defender, lucky he didn't hold it too long, still battling with it. It is um, Aina O'Cronin and son, Aina under pressure, had to get rid of it in the end. And here come Canavy, John Dunley going in towards goal, chance here for Canavy, bounce goes away, brilliant, knocked down by the defender however, and David Moore. Oh, as Scudabon breathe a sigh of relief, and here they come now, crossing halfway, up the far side of the field. Pitch, as I say, looking great, stand covered in sunshine, that one breaking down, um, a mishandling offence there by the Canavy defence, but they eventually managed to tighten it up, and here they come out this side of the field, a hand pass, man-making way, up the sideline, Canavy forwards, O'Hustigat Lahesha staying out in front, and they're doing well to get a hand pass across there, I think that might have been um, Alex Murphy, but the ball still in Canavy hands, moving towards the goal, chance here now, first grad going in, still going in, still going in, but eventually brought to ground from behind, now if we were in Pro Park on a big day, that might be a black card, but uh, it's only a free in here in Shkida Skull. Chance in the buys from Karagadrahad to go ahead, however. Five minutes gone in the first half. And Canavy registered their first score, Neva Bond. Four balls into the goalie's hand and no score for them. Canavy gone to one point. I don't see how it has just gone up on the scoreboard now. Kick out by Ben O'Reardon. Fighting Skullabon, Gideon Tevs on board. They're going in Schneens of plenty of space. Too much space because it eventually trickles out over the sideline and there was nothing Fino Tuma could do for the Shina Kamala Stix in it. Any minutes, any minutes. And kicking Ishna, Togan to Canavi, Ketal Shikansa, Laskar, Oshin, Oshin McCarthy. Or was it a Mark Finnegan? Either way, it goes to Canavy Hand and another uh, forward being picked out there. It is um, John Crowley. John Crowley getting it in. Canavy playing good combined football. Uh, a trip in the Canavy forward as he went to bend down there. Might have been accidental, but it was still a trip. The legs get entangled in each other. And to be a free in uh, for Canavy and a chance for them, maybe, to um, double their advantage. One point to nil as it stands. Yeah. This one now is going to be near enough. The in in front of the goal, up they go, broken down. A chance of a goal! Great save again inside on the goal line. Lucky one there. That ball broke in the small square, and eventually it came down. Canavy man had a go, but it comes off the shins of the Balavoni boy. Here they come up the field now. Canavy range, ranging across, nearly cut out, goes back, covers his man, and eventually it comes as far as Fino Toma. Fade over to the far side of the field. Canavy out in front. Canavy winning. Canavy in possession. And Canavy now up the far side of the field again. John Crowley with this one, playing it in low. Two Balavoni defenders there, and eventually a toe gets to this one. Ball on the ground. Referee says play on. On that occasion, and Canavy moving forward again, John Dunley, John left footed in towards the goal, picking out his man in front of the goal, and a shot across into the goalie's hands, and well done, Stigginson, bid on your dawn, and a fine, big, long lash of a ball out to the centre of the field. Extra man here now for Balivorda, if they can get up the field, moving forward now, still going, God has the 65, trying to get in towards the 45, plays it back. Now crossing halfway again, out to this side of the field, asking the forward to run. The forward runs, but the back runs faster, and the back comes away, and here come Canavy down the field. Job done, hand pass over, and it goes in in front of the goal, chance here. Far Canavy if they can keep this one in play, but 
The ball was faster than the turbo-propelled football boots of the Canavy corner forward on that occasion. And out it goes over the inline. Seven, nearly eight minutes of play gone. Roughly about halfway gone in this first half. One score seen, and that was the Canavy from a free. With the referee checking that everything is all right out in the middle of the field. Dropping out, it's up they go. Bellamore man wins it. That's a... Uh, um, Sean Otuma Sean Otuma plays it over to the far side of the field scores a lot of premium Leva Bond started well dominant had a few chances free for uh, Skull Alamon had a few chances but Con Curtis in the Canavy goal showing his worth and showing his handling prowess four of them came in and the goalkeeper was very very uh, effective in not alone stopping them and saving them but finding defenders with his pass out a kick from Leva Bond gone astray again a hand pass nearly broken down on that occasion across they go Canavy out in front story of the day so far if it did is Alex Murphy Alex Murphy gives it in to John Delay now John Delay has this one left footed it's a loose one in towards the goal who's going to win this one there's the Canavy man going through half a chance here but there's a chance in front of the goal yes it was 2-1-2 two two in there the forward was running in the forward got possession side pe- sidestepped one half sidestepped the second defender and left for it to the back of the net now Shid scored it Cole the who lead the ball and Canavy going to end score for ex and kick him out from Ben O'Rean out to the centre of the field Canavy winning that one Canavy very very sharp <coughs> up to the far side of the field now cutting inside Across again they go, sparing that ball, sparing possession, very, very valuable commodity is possession in the modern GA game. Canavy is still going through, John Dunley had passes again, Balavoni doing well, showing their good defensive skills, but the ring falls kindly to um, uh, Canavy, they had a half a chance of a goal there, Ben O'Rean and Ben O'Rean doing very well inside in the goal there, Farnave Avon saving that one. 1-1 one, one is manageable. 2-1 would be a disaster for the boys of the Gaeltacht with 10 minutes of playing on in the first half. It's still only a four-point game. Ben Meal, kick father, out to the far side of the field, pushing the back. They have a ball free. And it, that was foul on Sean Otuma. Sean looking around. Kaliyana Shelish and Gautza. Kakrishay. Get on the Up the long the wing. He gets it. Is he expecting a pass back? He's not going to get it immediately anyway. And eventually into the centre it goes. Well read there by the Eva Bond again. Sean Otuma has it now. Sean Chowlish. Dull can keep the fall. I can read her on her. Oh, oh, oh. Read her. Bring him back to play for that free. No advantage there for Sean Otuma as he moved on. But they spot the man running into space for Neverbar it's cross in front of the goal up they go number 11 has it a chance of a save again by Con Curtis that ball very close to the end line out it comes again but once again Con Curtis a chassis of Arne Vail the canopy and a chance of the tournament calls and eventually collects and drives out but once they get into trouble there they're in trouble but cross into this side of the field Neverbar have a chance of a point here and that one goes over the bar there's no point in trying to go under the bar with a goalkeeper as good as Con Curtis it's back to a three point game it's back to a one score game as they say in rugby and Con Curtis will come out to the edge of the D to kick this one for Canavy he's going to this side of the field but they have have the break and they're moving forward number 11 is Ronan Otome gets it inside pushing the back there as Sean was making ground towards the goal and it will be a kick save a that's going to be on Valivorda. This one should bring it down to two points. As Finano Lusa went to ground on that occasion. I couldn't count so Hogan to Nish. Now Ronan Otuma stole him. Now Sean. Sean at all Hogan. Sha. I should trust none. I guess go off to lead in Ishing Dave Bond. Two scores apiece. One goal and one point for Canavy. Two points for Skullibon, Ballyvorne. Go Khulid into the four nerves and kicks them off. On goal, the Togan take Con Curtis, the Canavy. Makalar in the park. On counts of Bute, Canavy. And well done again, driving the play up at the centre. Canavy man staying in front, winning this one and moving up along the sideline. Across in front of the goal, but a uh, defender was there. Nice punch down. Nice bit of uh, combined play. Uh, eventually, the Canavy man wins back possession running into trouble eventually out over the sideline the referee said however that that ball was fouled before it crossed the line and it will be a free in for Kennedy four minutes or about that less even 
uh, to go in this first half about two and a half minutes as this one will be taken for Canavy by Mark Finnegan Mark bringing it in he's getting a fair he's getting a fair buntosh to, I think from where the foul was committed he's nearly in front of the goal when he kicks this one in it's swinging across in front up they go eventually eludes all grasping hands out over the end line and it will be a kick out for Neva Vaughan Neva Vaughan want to get up the field have had more possession have, but even though Canavy have grown into this game after the first 10 minutes out they come Neva Vaughan man holds it at the second attempt and then moves up the field that's a bit of cooing give it a cooing pass to a nice one there nicely touched down and Neva Vaughan now moving forward Forward, the left foot, the culture left peg. Oh, good defending there, getting out in front of the ball and doing very well there was Kyle Young for Canavy. Even though the Wellavorny men stayed back, got ball and did fumble it and it goes out over the sideline here, right in front of us. It will be a light ball for Canavy, or for Ballyvorna, as we approach half time. About a minute and a half to go before the short whistle. Michael Collins' short whistle, of course. Michael refereed in All Ireland final not too long ago between. Tyrone and Armagh and uh, Tyrone won that match the Armagh supporters would tell you that they shot the wrong Michael Collins but we'll follow the play here in towards the goal and this one is free out for Canavy long the ground low to near the sideline out over the sideline possession given away cheaply on that occasion and Neva Bond will have one final sally now up the field before the half time whistle Keith Arlish and Gounso Hogan Sean telling his forwards to move in give him something to aim for it wasn't Sean it was uh, Danny and uh, well won again by the full back line doing well in there for Canavy full back and goalkeeper really putting it up to Neva Bonds and if you want to get past us you'd have to go over us because you're not going around us uh, Canavy moving the ball up into the wing defender comes across he's all on his own well read for Neva Bond on that occasion slips as he tried to come away hand passes it along the ground foot passes it along the ground hand pass along the ground what kind of talk is that and there to this side of the field Canavy again letting this one run Neva Bond coming out for it but beaten going near the sideline will he keep it in he won't keep it in and it will be a Canavy line ball outside the 20 meter line and to take this one is number 5 that's Oshin Oshin Makara the 11 who lined out for Canavy were Con Curtis, Kellyanne Desari, Kyle Young, Joe Sexton, O'Sheen McCarthy, Mark Finnegan, John Denny, and Adam Keating, John Joe O'Brien, Alex Murphy, and John Crowley. For Neva Bond, we had Ben O'Reilly, Donny, and O'Crony in Rory O'Maraku, Philip Sage, Finn O'Toma, Danny O'Lincha, Sean O'Toma, Finano Lusa, James O'Maraku, Benjamin O'Reilly, Don, August Ronan O'Toma, Neva Bond, and the attack and a free. This one is going to land very, very near the in line and standing back to kick it onto the line it's high enough is it accurate enough it's high it's over the bar and that surely will mean that there'll be one point between the sides at half time Canavy two scores one goal and one point Neva Bond three points and that one out as far as Michael Collins half time Sinead the Glahaman and Sahagang Sosbjagagang as Bemitar Nash Leshkiel and Tarnala and the Yesen Ball in and Neva Bond has it beginning of the first match and the first half winning the winning the um, throw in but then giving away a rather silly ball and Canavy pick it up and Canavy in possession in their own half of the field nice left footed clearance out as far as John Dundee <coughs> John Bing, shadowed by Fido Toma, gets his kick in, up they go, they have a ball, winning that one. Um, the hand comes across illegally there, however, and it will be a free out for the boys from Balevorda, trailing by a point. That was Ian O'Crony, out to this side of the field. Uh, if it is she, she needs Danny, Danny Olinche, Danny and Dollar Rohr, Leonard Kito against the Stack and Draw Cole comes down, the defender holds his position, holds his line, and holds his head to win that ball and clear it out towards the sideline on the far side of the field for Canavy. Never mind. Uh, having to defend now this one coming across into the centre good defence too and winning that ball back a bit of room now as he heads down the middle stops that was uh, Danny to drive this one into the corner defender making life tough there far the forward and doing very well I think that might have been Caelan who did very well on that occasion the ball eventually goes out over the sideline to be a name of uh, free in our sideline ball but first of all there's a bit of 
uh, running repairs to be done as well and this one is going to be kicked out from the 45 the 65 meter line inside it here in Parky Creed Parky Creed in the Grania Parky Creed in the Grania and that wind seems to be favouring Balivorna in this second half here in the Schiena Skull Ryan DF7 final there playing the ball over there on the far side the referee saw a bit of holding and giving the free in to Balivorna Right, she had father, right, Stockel on weed, up they go, well broken down, but two men have been waiting for the break, hand pass back, out it comes as far as the man with the cultured left foot, high and over the bar, good score there for David Bond. kept his eye on it and put it over the bar, I think that one was uh, Finan or Lusa to tie the game up at 1-1 to four points, with two minutes gone in the second half can we try to get up the field again now they did get a big one in the first half when they got that goal great long ball in John Joe O'Brien did well had a bit of work to do here can we have a bit of room again moving forward Balamorny went slips tried to recover but eventually too many steps too little playing of the ball in the hand on that occasion for the academy man and referee Michael Collins said that is over carrying that will be a free out for Neva Ball Coming out to the 45 metre line here in Parky Creed, but once again, that kick going astray, and this one across the front of the goal, a chance here for Academy, because this is it, yay! What a goal, what a mistake, what a way to punish a mistake, bang into the back of the net, great goal there on that occasion by Alex Murphy. So Academy, who were pegged back to level, are now gone three ahead again, are one goal ahead, score reading, two goals and one point to four points with the f three minutes and 13 seconds of the second half gone. They have a ball playing it along the ground, up along the wing, Academy man driving out for it. I was saying this could be a great year for Canavy at club level. Will be a great week for Dave Abad as well. They got a new hall opened, De Downing. They got a new road opened, De Loon. And here they are hoping to have a Schiena Skull Trophy on uh, the Tuesday in front of the goal. Canavy moving forward, turning around. Balamorny man standing over him, shadowing well. Makes him give it away. Still, Canavy moved towards the goal. Looking for a bit of room. Not coming out. Back it comes. Blocked down the first, blocked down the second. Canavy picking up on the break and pass across David Bond man comes over and does very well must say I'm taken by the um, defensive abilities of both sides in this right DF final defending of the highest caliber blocking down to be seen David Bond driving this one along using the wind a bit of room here now as they move on this one is going to be tapped inside a bit of room still going towards goal racing it in chance here oh to the goalie and Khan does well again that was a poor enough effort in the end for a score by Neva Bond, but they have it again. And this one going out to this side of the field. Neva Bond man should have maybe picked it up sooner. Has the time to get it the second time. That's Finn. Finn Otoma. Ishtakal Arbeel. But kicked out and blasted out there. Neva Bond should win this one. Keeping the pressure on. They have to keep it on, of course, because they're down three points. Across over to this side of the field now. Even a hook is uh, yeah, Finn on. Finn on in towards the goal. It's that man. He's like a. He's like a yellow board inside there for Academy. They can't get past him. That's Concordus. But David Bond coming again. In chance of a score here. This one high and over the bar. But I think the whistle may have sounded just before Sean O'Toole kicked that one. And the referee will award the free into David Bond. That's twice now that he has blown them back for an advantage when he might have just held on another little bit and a chance now for Neva Vaughan to bring it down to two plenty time left ten minutes to go three points between them shortly now Danny O'Lincher will make that two points between them Agus Sinead Adienta one goal or two goals and one point for Academy five points for Neva Vaughan seven points to five if you add it up in any other language this one to be kicked out by the goalie Con Con for Canavy, kicks this side of the field, poor enough kick out, Balavorny man not ready for it however, and uh, Canavy at the second attempt get it out, direct football by them, 1, 2, 3, they've got as far as the 65, still going through, oh lovely side step there by John Joe, playing it up into the corner, the man who got the other goal by the goal, that was uh, um, Alex, Alex across in front of the goal, still holding possession, swings the swings, the man coming late, great run, great defence on that occasion by Fernando Luza, who managed to get his hand up and eventually, eventually 
Uh, the shot came out for Kadavi. A bit of indecision between the two umpires there. Looked at each other, looked at the ref. Maybe Michael Collins had the perfect view of it from 15 metres uh, behind him. But either way, it's not being counted. So it's still 2-1 to 5, 7 to 5, with 6.5 gone in the second half. Out to the far side of the field. Never ball. Trying to get down that field. Need a score. Playing it long, direct ball. Will they win this one? They won't. Reading in by the sterling defenders that are in the category. Uh, black and amber jerseys here today. They have a ball cutting this one out. A man who's doing well is Philip. Philip Sage. Philip over to the far side of the field. Gets um, uh, Danny Olich uh, involved. Danny in towards um, Ronan. Ronan Otuma. Ronan Otuma spots the man coming late. Gets it to him. Oh, good defense again. Great defense again by. Um, Canavy reading that one well, sweeping across. I think that one could have been Joe Sexton, maybe. Good never ball eventually will get the sideline kick. Canavy marking up. The press is on, making them kick, making every pass a 50 50. That's what they want to do anyway. And eventually it comes down. Balavour to have it again, though. Inside gets it back to the man who took the sideline, moving in towards the goal. As he got to go on the left, or is he turning on the left? Oh, what a fantastic bit of robbery. Well done, Canavy. Down it comes. To Naval Ball need a goal. Chances well as 11. 11 turning around. Hits it high and dropping it in. And the goalkeeper is stopping points now. Brilliant by Con Curtis. That one was dropping in over the bar. He got the pause up. But Naval Ball coming in is like a blue wave. Across it comes in front of the goal. And it looks to be over the bar. Is it over the bar? It is indeed. Down to two. Or down to one. Two goals and one point for Canavy. Six points for Naval Ball. And Scully on and no goal and that is in no small measure due to the great defence and goalkeeping skills being exhibited by Con Curtis for the boys in the black and amber they have a ball flicking it up for the first time and the second time didn't work out they better put the hands on it better make sure can it be dangerous when they come on the break unlimited possession swinging it across they have a ball in front on this occasion and out they come long ball to this side of the field giving a chance to the runner the runner gets there and fumbles the first time and then has to lash it first time in towards the goal Khan coming out Khan on the edge of his D turns around changes his mind of where he was putting it the first time but maybe he should have kept it because they have a ball have it and now they're moving towards goal looking for the equaliser dangerous ball inside this one comes down as far as Ronan Otuma Ronan Otuma is fouled and this should surely be the chance to tie up matters again with six minutes of play remaining in this DF7 final and what a cracker it's been up the field and down the field chances on both sides some taken some not taken and there we are a chance for Neva Vaughan Skull of on, Ballyborna to equalise as a cross comes Sean Otuma to take this one it will suit the right leg it should suit the right peg the referee telling the defenders to get back a small bit Sean big moment in this match has the team's level so it's there we are seven points for Neva Vaughan two goals and one for uh, Canavy and maybe seven scores to three is a reflection on the amount of possession that the teams have enjoyed but their level on the scoreboard and that's where it counts kick out for Canavy into the centre of the field blocked down again good blocking by Neva Vaughan as I say the blocking skills on both sides has been absolutely phenomenal great defence on that occasion by Neva Vaughan kicking that one into space a chance for them now and it's even a cooing Finn Finn Otoma in towards the goal but that one is going to reach the sanctuary of the sideline for Con Curtis and it will be a kick out for uh, Canavy Neva Vaughan of course haven't been ahead at any stage in this game they have five minutes now to correct that out to the far side of the field again they have win they're winning the kick out that wind is having an effect there's no doubt about that up to the far side of the field again bounces over them one canopy man misjudges the second man doesn't drives it out up along the way and it's a bit of shock John Dunley John Dunley playing it up the sideline eventually hops 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 dribbles 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 out over the line line ball for Neva Ball 25 and a half gone 2-1 to 7 points 7 playing 7 in old money and this one Neva Ball have made a switch uh, in the forward line I can't see I think it may be Barrow Sconnell who has come on and 
they're ready to take this one into the, the forward line they go and still moving towards the goal here come the ball oh brilliant knocked down again down it comes a half a chance and swung on that occasion by Benjamin O'Rear Dawn and that one goes out and wide but again I am so impressed by the standard of blocking down on both sides but particularly the Canavy defence Con with the kick Con Long over to the far side of the field who's going to win this one the man with the black and amber wins and that goes up along the sideline being forced to check gets a hand pass in very near the sideline over there in the sun in the north stand moving up the line the free is eventually awarded and Canavy will move with menace towards the Scullabon uh, Citadel 26 and a half gone 3 and a half left is there a chance is there extra time what are we doing here now played up into the corner David Bowman seems to be in control was going to let go did leave it go out over the end line and throws the ball over for their goalkeeper Ben O'Rear Dawn attack the back of Father Lehimel and Stu Kirkville Eshin Gyansa Laska Mark the Neva Bawn a lot of cowder a lot of danger father but it only comes as far as the uh, academy man who uh, misjudged it but goes back to retrieve and has this one now in the centre of the field that's John John Dunley a low ball inside again Academy doing well forward goes to ground hand passes away in time gets it back to John John uses his body to shield it oh fantastic play by David Bond on that occasion and brilliant Rob brilliant dispossession over to the far side of the field David Bond on the ground fouled as he bent the back the oldest chick in the book put your back down and he'll push you uh, invite him and they've on with the free we've got two and a half minutes before we'll hear the long whistle and they've on with possession and possession is going to be vital uh, so far in this game trying to cut inside and uh, Leshen uh, Kito in towards the goal line they've on have it again has a chance here crosses it in front of the goal high and is that the lead I think it very well may be so for the first time in this game with just two minutes remaining Scullabon have gone ahead well maybe with all the possession they had they really deserved that much as well but either way Canavy are not giving up and their number seven is John Dunley a great name in Canavy of course Johnny Dunley one of the stars from Canavy that won county senior medals with Musgrave in 1970 when they beat the famed Nemo Rangers up the far side of the field here come Canavy are they looking for the third goal they won't get it that way because in there is Philip Philip Sage uh, back to the goalie and then Laska Gutev Sadaparka fighting Nevabod pass Lashtig Tashifa in the Glacky Fino Tuma Fino Tuma Pukka the Dalambasha or the uh, Kalisha quickly taken by John Dunley into the centre. Can he be coming again? And a long kick towards the goal. It's high, it's straight, it's true, it's accurate, it's over the bar and a minute and a quarter to go. And Canavy are back on level terms again. Go cool, let's go cool in Canavy. Ocolini, Scullabon, Balivorna. And we are into the final minute of action in this DF7 final. <coughs> Off to the far side of the field. Who's going to win that? They have a ball. Have it. Have they enough time to get one more score? They'll have to sally down the field. A long kick up to the side of the field. Well caught inside there by the man from They have Is he fouled? He's not. Is he had to lose his possession? Very nearly. No. They have a ball. Still have it moving in towards the goal. Chance here. That's um, um, Ronan Otuba. Ronan Otuba out the sideline. Trying to move in towards the goal. Looking for a bit of help. But he's fouled. He's fouled. He's fouled. Now this could be the decisive moment of this game it's a free in for Skullabon Tan Tlogar Olyamsa go with Feha Second Falka go with Fingul and a glug and coming up to take this one taking his time coming all the way up the field uh, where are they going to go it's Sean Atom I think he'll be kicking this with his right and this one will be dropping up high in towards the goal well done by the goalkeeper and the back together they push it out to this side of the field once more the man goes to the ground <coughs> picked off the ground and I got out over the line and a man on the ground there I thought that was a free in for Balivorna when the former bit down he seemed to get the push but the referee said I gave you free on the other side I'm not giving any more and so it's a free in now far uh, or it will be a clash ball I've no doubt the linesman has the flag up as well I didn't know whether she was waving it in excitement or whether the ball has gone out but either way it will be a restart it's going to be a line ball for Neva Ball. <coughs> We're in uh, time added on. We're in Aum Kutiv and Gortaha. Agusen counts on Ish, Letogent, Ege, Sean, Sean, Otuba, 
on the sideline takes a short run will he get it back it won't get it back because that is the last action so, um, <coughs> so. there will be extra time of five minutes aside to be played and, uh, and there will you may get a short breather now but we we'll want you back out on the field as quickly as possible and there will be no break between the first and second period of the extra time <coughs> So, five minutes aside, and no break between the two, just an immediate turnaround. <coughs> Ball in, breakaway again, Neymar Ball winning the kick out, using their height to good advantage. The, the three times that the match has been restarted from uh, the halfway line, but once again, the Academy full back line doing well, repelling that attack. She's going to have Valimor to the park and the voice of Blue coming up the field now. Long ball into the corner, but that one red inside goes off the hands of the defender, however, goalkeeper sweeping across the line. And Khan gets a left foot to it and out over the sideline on the far side of the field. Five minutes extra time to be played in the first half and in five more minutes in the second half and it has been announced there will be no big break between uh, the two halves out it comes Neverborn playing it out to this side of the field a hand pass back dodgy enough ball but they get away with it hand pass in oh good tackle there good strong play by Canavy as they come away hand pass back and the left foot will come up to this side of the field giving an advantage to the forward the forward out in front takes that advantage and a nice low ball good uh, tackle play here by Canavy but they Ball coming across should have got that one at the first attempt didn't get it at the first attempt we will get it at the second and here come Neva Ball hand pass into the centre man standing unprepared for that one and it will be Neva Ball who will have to defend this free it's across the field they go Academy with a half a chance here hits it high towards the goal the goalkeeper stands to attention Ben O'Rear Dawn and lets it go hoppity hoppity hop outside the post and still level after a minute and a half of the first period of extra time. Ben, a mockle on the park, and or the low, far volleyball, the guy, the guard, winning that one in the air, driving on up the field, great run. Then plays that ball into space. Nice ball as far as Fanon. Fanon Olusa has blocked down the first time. And then Jimmy gets it back. And Neva Ball nearly losing it. Very nearly losing it. But eventually managing to win it back. Having conceded about 20 yards of ground. Up along the far side of the field. Trying to get it in play. Keep it in play. But took the eye off it for a second. And Canavy have it again. And Canavy driving it down to this side of the field. Up they go. Goes past backs. Goes past forwards. Doesn't go past Philip and Philip gets it out for Neverbond holding on to it still and passes far as Sean Sean Otuma out to this side of the field a good ball bit of room here Neverbond man gets it onto, up into his foot with the left that was uh, Danny Danny Olinja and Jimmy Mishtakwan the referee spotting the little tug on the jersey on that occasion and it will be a free in for Neverbond kicking it into the wind this one is going to be taken by Danny himself is it on the left Danny steadying himself hopping the ball settling himself and a chance to put them about ahead again has the height anyway but doesn't have the accuracy and that one goes outside so a let off there for Canavy at nearly three minutes of playing on in the first period of extra time they take the quick kick out the reason they did that because Khan spotted a loose man and up the far side of the field go Canavy turning back hard to make out the numbers over across on the far side of the field uh, but this one played in towards the Canavy forward line they've done well unlimited possession all day still holding on to this one man swung around on that occasion and can we take it quickly out to this side of the field there's a race on here Far Valimorda contesting Far Valimorda a bucket to Raj he's going to get it up this side of the field looking for someone to play it to he fouled that ball however turned too many times and he knew at the end that he should try and get it up as far as his number 14 that's the J.O. Marukou Tashti the Skolalaba Skolaban Nefa Agastan kicks there and Nish Erin Lina Dahadakui Mader and counts on his let Hogan take Mark Finnegan for Canavy. The girl in the yellow and black t shirt there, of course, is a girl from Glenville. That one down in front of the goal. Kept in play, but out as far as Sean Otuma. Now, can he get a shot about this? Uh, goes past one. Try to get running, try to get it. This one up and tip, but once again, half knocked down. 
and eventually Kennedy are going to win this one. Kennedy dogged, determined and doing very well. Hand passing, moving forward is their number four. Their number four is Joe Sexton. Gets it across. Balamone defender does well on this occasion to wipe it out. Out to this side of the field. Up they go. Well caught. And that's... Um, um, Gio Morocco, Gio Morocco, Chasta the Park, uh, they have a ball, a Duncan Keane, a fine long kick in, is this going to be one by the, number 11 has to win this one, and oh, eventually, out comes Khan, and Khan got his toe to it, and that was so important, he got it away from the Bellavoni forward, who was bearing down on goal with Minas, and eventually, it will be a 45 metre kick for, um, Dave Bond, that seems to be an awful long way out in the, in the skull pitch to be taking the 45 from there but that's where it is and it was going to keep Balibourna on the attack now as we have played just over the five minutes there won't be much more left in the first half of extra time no score 2-2 two, two, two eight points in the first in this match taken short again will he let him go will he give him one chance as this one is going to be kicked now by Neva Bond and pass it to the centre he'll have to kick soon turns on his left hits it aye but that one outside the post again and wide referee says Shina will the Kursi Sport and Giedla match over we'll go back for the second period of extra time and the team's force level the referee Michael Collins telling them to change around no more needed no in for the sup of water no in for the bit of advice no in for the last minute instruction turn around and we'll throw it in and start again five minutes more to go score still as was at the end of normal time two goals and two points for Canopy eight points for Navabon or Scullibon Valivorna I see the referee in, after moving into the centre of the field now and we should have the second half underway oh the goalkeeper is a defender going back yeah Can't see what's happening there now. Neva Bonds, goalkeeper is wearing is he wearing the same jersey as the rest of the team been earlier on? I didn't spot it before this, but it's Adar Deloha and Canavy of the four win one out to this side of the field very near the sideline and Canavy has subs in as well I think this one going back to John Dunley John Dunley making a bit of room for himself Johnny low nice little ball punted in and towards the forward line doing well trying to cut inside no hand up by the referee yet. there was a little bit of a hand in there for Canavy but out they come but well read by them about and they come to this side of the field bit of room here now as he goes down he'll pick it up plays it soccer style in oh maybe he should have done better on that occasion Balavor the man on the ground Balavor the ball on the ground well eventually the referee said the last nudge came from the Canavy man and it will be a free in to Skullabad. four minutes and a little bit left in this Ryan DF7 final and what a cracker it has been even a she Shinny Danny Danny the Shinny outs have it comes out the goalie comes out the goalie lets it hop I thought he was going to touch it but he didn't Khan let it out over the sideline or over the inline and to be a kick out for Canavy far side of the field up they go all the blue jerseys going for it down it comes that is the boy in the black and amber who wins this one for Canavy out they come who nearly lost it on the first occasion eventually kick it under pressure does well to win that ball back low ball fired up along the wing inside it goes Balibor the man coming out ball goes into the hands of the blue jersey the coming out with that one under pressure picks it uh, up in front of the referee had to do it legit they have a ball getting a bit of room here now moving towards the goal still going in a bit of hook plays low inside forward coming and for it but the defender comes first and the defender gets it out to this side of the field where he finds the forward loose <coughs> up along the sideline Canavy crabbing their way up the field haven't had much possession in the extra time but they're not giving anything away and their defense has been rock solid all afternoon now they're moving into the danger area moving forward this one kicked in towards the goal a chance inside in front of the goal That's how they finish it off. That's how they win a match. 
Academy stayed there. The defense was brilliant all afternoon. The odd for up. Each time they went up nearly, they got a score. Three goals up for them. No goal up for Neverbaugh, Scullabon. And Scullabon now under pressure with two and a half minutes of play left. They have this one in the center of the field. The ball goes up in his back and eventually comes down. The referee says play on out to this side of the field. But the referee had blown his whistle and he's giving a free in to Canavy on this occasion. And now Canavy will take it nice and handy. Two goals in normal time. One goal in extra time. 3-2. Five scores. They have a ball. Scull a ball. Eight scores. Not eight. But finding themselves down. A chance another bit for Kennedy. Brilliant block down. That one goes eventually outside the post. And there was a chance of a fourth goal there on that occasion. But I'm trying to get the number of who saved that one. That's down on the boot he went. And I think it was Aina Ocronin. Aina saved that one. Kennedy, of course, no rush now to take this. 45. John Dunley. John plays it short lets the Canavy forward go for a run and the Canavy forward double edges by following this one very near the sideline Neva Ball lose it and Canavy have it again playing it into the corner half blocked out inside there but the black and amber prevail cross there coming is there room for a pass here turns on to the left still going forward and passes it back chance looking at the scores ball shoveled across and now is it chance is that the thing is that the insurance point it very well could be because that one has taken this game out to a two score match with just over one minute left three goals and two points three points for Canavy eight points for Skull Abroad they're not giving up either though Down down the roar to the far side of the field. Man brought down. Referee says, I'll give you the free. Hurry on. Play on, says Neva Bond. Under pressure. Farn the Mroga Gurma. Over on the far side of the field. Kadiyara Shilish and Yautza. Will Shekhara Echurishtak. Oskora T. Temple T. Score. No go. Tessalo Neva Bond. This isn't long enough. It comes down. Canavy man picks it up and Canavy drive it out to this side of the field. Well, it looks like at this stage that. Um, Scullabon are going to lose this match. They lost their principal coma and Taktinsha as Truhura Lusa has been a due to Cardamon Torichta Agasso Scullabon on the Spantas Tuka and Bautasa A.K. Academy. You pass it to the centre. That is Sean. Sean Otuma over a glug, glug, still moving towards goal. Has to go low here. Ah, and it breaks the crossbar. That's the sign your look is out. Down it comes. The five minutes are up. Neverbon not giving up, however. Across the front to the goal but it's hanging to the left found again in front finding a forward a forward under pressure a forward under pressure a forward under pressure uh, illegally and this is the chance Neva Bond must get taken quickly don't think there's really going to be time enough even if they get the goal out of this or do they take the point and hope for a goal in the last play if the referee allows any last play we've gone 30 seconds over the regulation 5 minutes and this one is to be taken it going to put it in I think just think he put it in in front of the goal that's what he does up they go down it comes chance no room on the left low pass down trying to get inside great defence again by Canavy and the goalkeeper that's Con. eventually gets a part head across and a block again out in front of the goal down it comes into a Canavy hand a whistle sounds and the boys in black and amber jump for joy and touch the sky because they have won this DF7 final after extra time a cracker of a game on score down the Canavy a 3-3 three three. Skullibon Valimorne no great victory for Canavy and well deserved very bravely fought by Valimorne by Skullibon Valimorne
Shake hands. Okay, cool over. What's on? Alright? Come on, lads. They're probably better off the other side, right? Look, maybe some next to the... Wait, tell him about it. Captain's lads, I can't tell you the thing I'm telling you. And for your trophy, just the box for your trophy which you have already. That's ready. We're just gonna do one hour and one first, okay? Go, 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 okay? Come on, boys. It's a bit tight, but on, boys. Here we go. And go for it. Go on. Okay, let's rest you back on the Astro. One second, I'll wait for the Astro. I was once on the Astro. 